Today, we're going to no-hit Alden Ring NG Plus with the Dragon Maw Incantation build. We kill all the main bosses in a stylish way. Each hit of Dragon Maw inflicts close to 5k damage, which results in many bosses being demolished by only 2 to 3 hits. We can use many other incantations in different situations and stagger the big bosses to get the maximum satisfaction. Let's take on the journey with the Dragon Maw Incantation build together. When you get into the Marched boss room, you cast Dragon Maw immediately to get a free hit and go to his back and then another dragon more hits he's gone two hits markets by Godric. we first go towards him look for his hits dodge this one and then hit him with the dragon maw wow dodge this one and then hit him with another dragon maw each one is close to 5k damage this is crazy one more hit and he's almost gone okay phase two let's just go towards him as soon as possible when the phase begins and then just hit him with one more Dragon Maw, and Godric is done. Before each fight, you simply drink your flask, cast the Golden Ball, and then also cast the Call of Shabriri, and that's it. We can be ready to go into the fight. Go towards Redon until he jumps, go to his back, dodge, and then cast the one Dragon Maw. When he tries to hit the ground, dodge around his foot. Look for this opportunity to cast another Dragon Maw. And then, we basically dodge this hit, and then cast another Dragon Maw. Oh wow, 3 hits. Redon is gone. Let's deal with Gold Godfrey. Go back. He will hit the ground and then dodge this one. Alright, keep distance. And uh, let's hit him. Oh wow, didn't hit. I guess I'm pretty rusty now playing Elden Ring. Let's try again. Oh, 1 hit. Half XP. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, let's just hit him again. He can do anything. Two hits, Golden God free is gone. One shot does annoying assassin on the way. For Morgoth, we wait for the opportunity. Dodge this one, dodge, and then let's see what he will be doing. If he casts his, uh, oh, not the spear, so we dodge twice to avoid this attack. Dodge this one and this one. Oh wow, he's doing a lot of nonsense attacks. Okay, this is D1. Dodge the spear, he will jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, not yet. Alright, this fight gonna be long. Okay, dodge. Dodge. Keep dodging. When can you stop? Cast the spear, please. Alright, have to dodge. Oh man, this is really unexpected. Hey. Alright, this is D1. Dodge the spear. He will jump. Go under him and cast the dragon mole. Oh, good. Cast another one. The trick here is really cast as fast because the casting of Dragon Maw is very slow. If we get slow, we're not going to kill him. But why does empty HP? Oh, wow. Okay. One more cast. He's gone. Easy. The most important stats are Faith and Arcane since we use Dragon Chameleon Seal which scales with Faith and Arcane and uh, I think the soft cap is 30 Faith and 45 Arcane so we have a little bit more than what is needed and then we have 40 points in Vigor to allow us to get some hits 34 mine, this is way more than enough probably you get around 19, that should be good enough Endurance is also way more, so we don't wear any armor so this is just uh, nowhere to push the point I guess we don't need any of the strength, dexterity or intelligence for this build okay he attacked from the top so we just jump to his foot and cast our dragon maw one hit, he will be sitting down, cast another one alright, let's see if we can do another one. Oh yes Oh, he was staggered. Alright, let's, uh, uh oh, no FP. Drink and cast another one. Oh, wow, phase 2 already. This is really fast. And the phase 2, we're kind of uh, maybe chasing here using the Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Uh oh, only hit 2k. That's not right. Look at this one. Alright, this is about 8k. That's about right. And the uh, Fire Giant is gone. In our main hand, we have a plus 10 Dragon Chameleon Seal, so this is our main damage output. In the off hand, we have Dragon Chameleon Seal, this is not upgraded because this is only in the off hand to have a 15% boost in the Dragon Chameleon incantations, and uh, it does nothing else. 
Our first talisman is Flock's Canvas Talisman to increase our incantation damage. Second one is Blue Dancer Charm Talisman. Since we don't wear any armor, so we can use this one to boost our physical damage. And the Dragon Maw is dealing physical damage, so this is perfect. And also Rachel Sword Talisman to increase damage when we are uh, at full HP. And uh, America's Sword Seal. This basically gives us plus 5 on a lot of the stats, including Face and Arcane, which is uh, pretty good. And for our Flasks, we use Stone Bar Practice tier to get more chance of stagger and then face not crystal tier to get plus 10 face after we put them all to sleep we can buff whatever we want and then go to the first one dragon maw once dragon maw twice hit that let's see if we can get the third attack oh didn't hit that's fine drink go to the next one one dragon maw hit and uh, two i think he should be dead yes we got it and then, uh oh, we have to wait for they appear for the second time. Let's just drink. Uh, you can buff here if you want. It's a lot of time here. Then, oh, okay. We can also put him on sleep again. I guess we can just uh, hit him directly. We probably won't die. And uh, yeah, he's not on sleep. So let's go there, give him the final blow. God skin duo is done. He's the clergyman now, so we walk towards him. And he's doing this dodge. And then dodge again. Let's see. Okay, opportunity. Dodge once, dodge twice, go back and cast the dragon maw. Let's see how much this hits. Oh, only 3000. Alright, maybe not that bad. Keep dodging. Opportunity. Left, right, go back. And then cast another dragon maw. And we are phase 2. Oh, this is fast. Marticast, go back a little bit and then go in after he hit the ground. Cast the Dragon Maul. Okay, nice. He's stunned. And another cast. Marticast is down. So 4 hit for this entire boss for all of the phases. Very impressive. Now our friend Gideon. He won't do anything. One cast. He's down the ground. Another cast before he stands up. And then bye. Okay, Horlu phase 1. I think he attacked really fast. There's not really a good chance to use Dragon Maul, which is really slow. So instead, we're using Catch Flame, which is very fast and has a decent damage. Since we have face, uh, casting this one is a pretty good choice. So we basically just dodge, dodge, hit, look at what he do, jump, hit, dodge, dodge. This one we need to get away because this is the Earthquake Sun. And then we just drink our flask and uh, let's see what he does. Alright, dodge, dodge, hit once, dodge, hit another time, and then dodge, jump, attack, okay, attack, jump, attack. So we use catch flame to keep frying him. Now he's doing this. We change to our dragon ball. Oh ho, this actually dodged his uh, attack. Phase 2. Let's see if we can get the stagger. Oh, yes, we do. Nice. The fight is basically over. Wow, this is really satisfying. Rodagon is weak to fire, so we keep using catch flame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, normally, he will do the uh, ground attack. We can jump and. Uh, oh, now he's doing this, so we jump and fire him and uh, dodge this attack from the sky and keep firing him three times and then go back all right dodge once dodge and uh, two cast or oh, one cast he's gone all right and then we recast our golden ball and drink flask get ready for the uh, alden beast for alden beast we started with using past the threat which is really good for big targets like alden beast and then now go to the back Keep casting before he moves away. Alright, I think this is uh, how many? Three cast. Okay, good. He got uh, two thirds of the HP gun. Now he's going to do the rain attack, so we get enough time to rebuff our Hall, hall of Shabriri and drink our flask. Turn around, jump to the rain, and go to the left a little bit. He should be right in front of us. Let's see if we got a hit. Yes, we did. Now we should be able to kill him in the Alden Stars. Alright, 
this run is completed.